uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, bizarre things. If you are where, if you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushgrin today. Oh, we've got a real fun take to talk about. This is the Lollinator, the Annihilator. Uh, I'm going to tell you a very funny story. I had not played the game, and you can see everyone in the chat whinging about me. I have not played the game uh, for over a month, and yet I came back and walked onto this tank, uh, and I played six games, and I felt, yep, I'm ready to do the review. <laughs> I know what it's like after getting six games in, uh, winning 84% of them and averaging 2k damage in a tier 7 tank. I thought, I figured it out, because that was my first game, and I laughed so hard. I started the game, and I looked at all the stats, right? And I looked at the armor profile, and I've gone, gee, this thing's an autoloader, and it's that red, and it's got eight degrees of gun depression. And then I got in the game, and I pressed the button, and all three shells fired at once, and I just started laughing. I wish I had been recording it, because I, I was genuinely just it was the funniest thing that i had seen in so long i was like it's going to be really strong if it, if if this is an auto loader and it's got this turret and it looks like it's reasonably mobile and then it fired all three shells at once and hit a, a tank for like 600 and i was just just couldn't stop laughing i was like this is hilarious and of course it is hilarious and you're like, you're the tank that's getting hit. In which case, you know, it's more annoying than hilarious. Yeah, it's broken. It's completely broken. The review after six games and a 2k average damage and winning all but one game is... Yeah, th this is just broke. It's broke. It's broke. It's broke. Um, and that's the way it is. This is power creep personified. And it's just how it is. But, like, it's a great tank. I won't, I won't drive it. I stopped driving it because everyone got upset. Like, everyone got upset. And I... I could see why. Like, people were just really furious about it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I can see why you'd be really furious about it. it it's a Helsing. And I know, famously, anyone that's been watching this channel for a long time, and there's not many of you, because I'm like, you know, I'm, I've been AWOL a little bit. Um, I famously said the Helsing was okay when it first came out, and the Dracula was the one that was broken. And we all know <laughs> that I was very wrong and I admitted it um, I just got really bad RNG with the Helsing and it fires two shots at once at tier 7 this thing fires three shots at once at tier 7 it gives you the ability to peak for 600 with decent like decent penetration and an amazing armor profile like yeah I don't know what to tell you but uh, if <laughs> when ATGMs go I mean I don't want to get off track here, but this is going to be a short review, so I'll, I'll do this anyway. Yesterday, I, was, I came back and I, was, I wanted to do this, and I also want to do some pan-European reviews, because they're new tanks, and they interest me, and I was playing the ML1. It's really lovely. I played the big K-Dog at the top, the Crav, and I was playing the ML1, and it was great. And I had this guy in a T92E1, a 63% win rate player with like 50,000 games, screaming at me, calling me noob and all this, because I wouldn't push Castilla Flank alone in a Tier 8 versus... Tanks that were unspotted the whole game. A Waffle Tractor and a Fosh. They were two tier 9 TDs sitting on the ridgeline, unspotted. I was going to get killed. And he was screaming while he sat on top of a mountain, lobbing missiles at people and doing 5k damage in what was a draw with four tanks left alive. And I can't wait till that's gone and then I'll go back and play a whole ass load of tier 10 and be very, very happy about it that I won't get triggered. Because, and the, the whole point of this is, I can see how people who don't have an Annihilator playing Tier 7 would be, like, just getting so heavily triggered. I mean, the Smasher was bad enough. The the refined gentleman's thinking man's KV2. But this, this is, this is just crazy. This is just crazy. I don't know what else to tell you. Like, what? <laughs> I just hit that guy for 640. And I've got the armor profile of a side scrapey T29. <laughs> what are you doing? Meh. Anyway, we're going to be making more tank videos. I mean, I think we should just talk about that. Let's just talk about the channel generally as we hit another black for 640. 
I thought, like, after the first game, I knew what the review was going to be. And I kept playing it for a bit. But a couple of games, people at the end would just... And I've not included it because I don't blame them. Like, and I felt bad. And I didn't talk back. I just kept my voice down and didn't say a word. I was just like, yeah, no, you're completely correct. This is bollocks. It's not fair. It's not fair. Like, they're playing tech tree tanks. And, you know, you shouldn't be playing tech tree tanks at tier 7, apparently. Because, uh... Yeah, there's some pretty decent tanks there. I mean, that, the Drac is now not even that broke. <laughs> it's like it used to be. It used to be ridiculous. It's now just the vanilla, <laughs> the vanilla slice of uh, Tier Seven life. I'm gonna be making more reviews, so stick around. Uh, remember to subscribe, like the videos. There'll be some uh, patron stuff going on. We're gonna do some more live streams. Um, that'll be fun, and just generally settle in. Not as much content as the heyday of this channel because obviously I'm stretched a little bit thin and family commitments, but we're going to get content out there. Look after yourselves.